Sussex Regiment of Foot. Right, and I was just asking you to explain your uniform. You were telling me that this regiment fought in the Napoleonic Wars was, at the Battle yes. of Waterloo. And this would be the uniform we would have worn in at Waterloo. Um, it doesn't it, look like it would have protected you from much. Um, it doesn't, but when you've got muscles of that size, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't protect you. <laughs> they weren't designed to protect, it's just, to, it just as a fancy uniform. But the, uh, before, the colours used to be white trousers that were made from canvas or, um, or cotton, which had to be imported from America. And um, because the country was running so short of money, um, they, they, they'd uh, turn around and say, well, we're importing all these material from America. We've got plenty of sheep in this country, so let's give them wool trousers. So that's when we had the wool, these wool trousers. And these trousers come, as you can see, way up here. Whereas the other ones were down there, right, well, so that way, that way they can make the coat shorter. And so likewise, material, you mean? yeah. <laughs> so it was it was saving on material because the coat was much shorter, and um, also the hat, which is there, which is a, called a shako, yeah. um, used to be a tall hat. And what they done was they halved, as you can see, they halved the height of the hat, put a peak in the front to take take the um, the crest. So they were quite hard times the Napoleon oh, Wars yes. and not much money around. Oh no, and um, certainly for the British soldier, I mean you had, um, you was given three, well you got one uniform a year and what you've done, the inside of the uniform was cream coloured. So when you wasn't on parade or fighting, you, t um, you turned your old uniform inside out and kept it. And that's why this, um, I've got any, you see one there with a cream coat on. That's known as the Farage jacket, so you'd worn that for ordinary camp duties. And likewise, you wouldn't have worn your tall hat, you'd wear this cap, which is a Farage cap.